How are you feeling? My throat hurts. That smoke inhalation. That'll pass in a couple of days. We have other problems. The baby. The baby's fine. Oh, thank God. You both failed to mention that the man who rescued you was Greenlee's husband, the formerly deceased sperm donor. Well, what are you worried about? That Brian's going to sue you for using his sample? He can't. Besides, you, you even had the death certificate. Given his resurrection, I just wonder perhaps maybe if you felt any differently about what we're doing. Why would she? Ryan's alive. How will that affect Kendall's decision once she has the baby and hands him over to me? Ryan's my problem, not hers. There's been a lot of stress around this pregnancy from the very beginning. How the baby was created, the circumstances. There's sermons, tantrums, warnings. But the baby is on board, and Kendall's fine with that. Right, Smokey? Absolutely. Well, Eric has been a source of friction. Yeah, friction is her best event. But we made her see resistance is futile. It's imperative that this pregnancy proceed without complication for the sake of the mother and also for the sake of the baby. From what I recall, Ryan has a complication all to himself. Uh, Dr. Madden, that complication just saved our lives. Did he also know he was saving the life of his baby? The miracle baby he had surgery to prevent ever having? I told him. How did he respond? Jubilation? Did he pass out cigars all around? Ryan promised whatever I wanted, he'd make it work. So no worries, everything is out there. No scary secrets. Well, that's all well and good. Kendall, as you're in the hospital there, some tests that I'd like to run. You're the doctor. What tests? Strictly routine tests. Well, you ran tests after the fire. You said the baby was fine. Well, I expect he or she will continue to thrive. But the tests that I want to run now are to screen for congenital birth defects. I have no history of that, and neither does Ryan. So what do you need to run these tests for? 